I don't know how in the world that, how many times have I walked by some get right. it in the store? You didn't know what it was though, did you? No, but how did I not know? Yeah. Well, you do now. How did I miss that? <laughs> I, I, I grew up in Maysville. Yeah. I was just right on, on the edge there. Anyhow, now that we found it, I can't seem to get enough of it. So I was talking to Carrie back at the festival okay. and he mentioned sliders and my little brain just started twitching. <laughs> I thought, all right, I've got this because you know my dad is the king of sliders. Right. You know what's funny is, is the impact that sometimes we have on folks who watch the show. You don't realize that right. until you're having a conversation with them. And we're out and about, and people say, "Hey, I made this recipe, and it's now a family favorite. And I made this in the Dutch yeah. oven." I was talking to John down at Camp on the Kentucky, and he said we made 250 venison sliders that your dad made. <laughs> Those that, are good. Dad. Yeah. It's, you good. know, I, everywhere I go, I talk to people who, who've had these sliders. Then he started talking about these things. Sliders. Your new favorite. Gotta get a, get a slider. <laughs> Man, they should have talked to me before they started the marketing That's campaign. Right. So, Gleers, get a. I called them up and I said, where can I get this stuff? They said, it's in Frankfurt. You can get it in Frankfurt. So, we went and got some. Yeah, we did. But you're so excited about your plates that I you don't am. even care about what we're cooking. Look at these cute plates. Guess who got us these? <laughs> Roddy and Lisa, aren't they cute? Because they know how much I love Milty. These are so, actually glass, they're not plastic. Listen, I they're like these, plastic. I have four, but these two are my, uh, these are my favorites right here. They look like, I'm gonna get Milty a hat like that for winter, and he's got these glasses. Hey, we could get him an alpaca hat for We winter. could. Yeah. I thought you could serve your sliders he's on He's kind of got his own hat already. Right, these are for your sliders. I'm, I'm excited. Okay. All right, I, I'm actually excited about the sliders, not so much about the plates. Hey. But thank you, Lisa, anyway. All right, now I'm not a get a cooking expert yet, but you know if you're doing sliders, you want it to be thin. Right. This is my method. I don't know how they do it, but here's what I found out earlier because I tried these. And, let me tell you what, delicious. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a. This is a ceramic surface. All right. Now I've been experimenting with this. If you have some kind of a griddle surface that, that's you know, got a rough edge to it, right. you don't want that. You gotta have a, a, a surface that's smooth because we tried it on a griddle that was really, had a little, right? no. You gotta have a smooth surface. Now, I pounded that out before it was hot. So now, I'm gonna start the grill. Remember that we're doing sliders, so we want these fairly thin, but it's pork and it's oats. I think there's some beef in there and some other stuff. So remember that the oats are gonna pop It'll shrink as it goes down. Then you can kind of shape it. Those guys were so intense when they were cooking that. I knew, I knew because of their very body language that they were that they were really paying attention to some some details there. And they had these out in perfect squares. I can't do that and don't don't even want to try. But I'm going to shape these as we go along. It'll start to shrink up a little bit. And the smell that comes off of this when it's cooking. But you know, as kids, we all took our trips to Cincinnati when we were growing up. We'd go watch Cincinnati play ball. Now that was back in the day. Look at this picture right here, the big red machine. I don't know if there'll ever be a baseball team like that was. And what was funny is we'd go see a Reds game, and us kids, you know, that was our that was our school trip. And we'd all try to get the attention of the ball player, you know, if he's in, you know, left field or somewhere out there. We could actually yell, and when they turned around, and I yelled his name as loud as I could, and he turned around and waved. Made your day. And I realized that, you know, he wasn't this you know, out of touch movie star. He was a guy who plays baseball who was nice enough to turn around and wave, wave at a kid. All right, now look here. You know how those guys had that fancy mm -hmm. square shape? I'm not timing it, but when it firms up enough to where you can flip it over. Good job. <laughs> good job, good job. Now. Oh, that wasn't easy, was it? That was not easy, but it's worth the finesse you have to put into it. It almost looks like a potato cake, doesn't it? Does. it? When that other side gets done, imagine this, a little Hawaiian bun. So we cut this in mm -hmm. half, cut this in half, and lay that in strips. But let's go ahead and put a little bit of mustard. Weber's on here. Do you want some pickles too? Let me spread that around a little bit. It's gonna be like six little sliders. Mm -hmm. All right, you remember when we were doing the bone broth and I was talking about grippos? You can't mm -hmm. believe the amount of people that said something about that's their favorite the barbecue potatoes. the best. How about when we go to Cincinnati, we look up Grippo's while we're up there. It's load up because Natalie's coming and she loves it. <laughs> That's true. All right, look here. Look at there. Oh, yeah. Look at that slider. Look at that. Does that not look like that? looks delicious. Something you'd pick up at the drive-thru window. Mmm, the consistency. You could probably eat 100 of these, couldn't you? Absolutely love that. Pickle's good on it. I don't know how I have 
not noticed this all my life. I've walked by this in the counter. This is all you're going to eat every day for lunch now, right? Well, probably not, okay. but I will on occasion. <laughs> the consistency, the crunchiness, but it's not it's not a hard crunch. It is pretty good. We were talking earlier, and I thought, how many different ways could we make this? Now, I'm sure they have recipes on their site, but right. you, you start talking about your grandmother. While I'm eating all these, why don't you go bring out your other surprise? All right. You know, you think about it, it's seasoned meat for you. You can do anything with it. So I made a couple things. I'll bring you out and see if you like them. We got our Elmwood bag today, didn't we? We did. We got peppers and zucchini. <laughs> so what did you do here? Well, you know, grandmother used to make stuffed peppers. So I looked at her recipe. She used to take hamburger and onions and rice and season it. This is already seasoned. So I thought, I'll just stuff it in the pepper. All right, and then I took tomatoes, because we got tomatoes in our bag too. Chopped those up in my, my little chopper that guy got me and put a little sugar on it and baked them. What do you think? So we got zucchini. I think cut it up. Stuffed zucchini. And the great zucchini. thing about it is, is the get is already seasoned, so you didn't have to season the meat. Right, I like that. So this cooked at what temperature for how long? 350 for like an hour and a half. Mm. That's good. So it's already, it's like you don't need rice or anything. You got those oats. It takes the flavor of that pepper real well. I like the zucchini oh, too. That's good. And you got your you got your filler in there already, mm -hmm. so you don't need rice. Oh, that's really good. This try, is try this zucchini. is not better than sliders, but man, it's close. Wow. Well, that's really good with that pepper. I, I mean, like that really, too. Really good. That's the easy way to make stuffed peppers, isn't it? Yes, it's it is. It's all seasoned for you. I just threw it in the pepper and cooked it. What a wonderful tradition. Mm -hmm. Families pass stuff down. Another tradition we have over the years has been going to the 127 yard sale. You never know what you're going to find. That's right. Oh my goodness, some <laughs> of the silly stuff I brought home. But you meet some characters too, mm -hmm. and you find some strange stuff. And I ended up with one of my little choo-choo trains. Now at the end of the show, you notice that that our production sign is it's a train. But you the like front trains. of the train is an old microphone from the 1930s. Mm -hmm. So I love that Art Deco period. Yeah. So I did find a little train. You found some other stuff and too. And I do like the old trains, but let's go visit the 127 yard show. We're here with Andrew. Look, look at this stuff he's got over here. This T-Rex. You think the grandbabies would like something like that? This is cool stuff. So you got a, you got somebody who makes this, and you take it around all over the place and sell it. How that is, cool. That is correct, because my talent is selling, not <laughs> manufacturing. <laughs> well, this is just some of the, is this your first time here on the 127? This is my years? first time on the 127, and I've just moved to this part of the country from Texas. Well, you know what? This is some pretty cool stuff, and I bet you you'll move a lot of it. Thank you, thank you. I, I, I'm glad you like it. Well, you're the first person we've talked to today for the Country Kitchen. So say hello, to hello, Farmer's everyone. Country Kitchen. Hello, Farmer's Country Kitchen. So have you had enough Geta? I have. We've been eating it all I'm day. I'm not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm good. I know I'm, you could keep I'm eating. I'm out of control and stuff, but I'm seeing some more sliders sitting right over there, which I'm going to They're attack. all for you. That's right. But you know what? This is another simple. This is so simple right. that it's not really a recipe, but if you want to know more about it, where would you go? I go to timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. Would you really? I do all the time. That's where I get all my recipes. <laughs> recipes, how-tos. Let's make some more Facebook friends. What do you got to do to be our Facebook friend? It's very simple. Go to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen Facebook page, hit like, and boom. You're on there. We talk, we share recipes. Every Monday, Kelly puts up a thing, what'd you cook this weekend? And people share what their recipes yeah. are and what they've done. And we have a whole lot of fun there. So join us on our Facebook page by simply hitting like. Just because there's another slider sitting in front of my face, that mean I should eat it? There's one missing. Uh-huh, I know who got that one, mm -hmm. Kelly. Kelly, but Kelly made me a double, so I can't complain. That's right. You can have both of them. I'm so, full. so we don't chew with our mouths full, which mom told me not to do. Good boy. Occasionally I mess up. We should probably go ahead and say it's all about good times, good friends, and good eats. We'll see you next week with a brand new Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. We might have to do some more exploring up around the Cincinnati area. Good idea. And right now I'm going to eat this slider.